At the Jersey Shore, emergency management officials say they are prepared for the flooding that will likely come with the heavy rain, and the wind is already picking up, as CBS News Philadelphia's Carrie Corrado found in Ocean City. Before the heavy rain and wind rolls into the Jersey Shore, we found a few families who were taking advantage of the thrill before the storm. It literally became a ghost town as soon as we walked up here. The Ocean City boardwalk looked far from crowded Friday night, and the wind whipped up and down it. Getting exercise through the wind, basically. <laughs> we <are laughs> well, <I guess> so. <laughs> having some fun. A few people enjoyed one last stroll through the salty air before the storm moves in. We're always looking for an adventure, and I said, "Come on, let's go up to the boardwalk and have some fun on this." windy night. It is really windy. <laughs> I can't really see anything. It's pretty windy right now. Yeah, we're yeah. having a lot of fun though. Others took a drive down to see the rough surf for themselves. We came down here so we could see the waves. It was like a desert, like how you picture a desert during a storm with all the like sand blowing up. Not far away along the shoreline in Atlantic City, white capped waves crashed onto the beach. The Atlantic City Office of Emergency Management says they have been preparing for the storm for the last several days. I wanted to let the residents of Atlantic City know one thing please take this storm seriously. It is going to be bad. And we want everyone to be safe. Officials say they expect some flooding in the Back Bay areas and have their water response and rescue equipment ready to go. It's not if, it's when. We are going to get hit with some pretty bad uh, conditions. In Margate, Lucy the Elephant will be closed Saturday for the safety of staff and visitors. But whether you hunker down or storm chased Friday night, anything is fun being with the grandkids. Officials say they can't say it enough that they want everyone to be prepared for the storm, especially when it comes to the tidal flooding and power outages. In Ocean City, Kerry Carano, CBS News, Philadelphia. Our morning team will have the up to the minute track of Ophelia starting tomorrow at 5 o'clock. And our meteorologists will be tracking the storm around the clock. You can see radar and get the latest forecast even when we're not on television. It's all at CBSPhiladelphia.com slash weather.